What's going on, everyone? Thanks for tuning in to another Dyslexic Reacts. Today we're checking out... Man, already can't talk. Today we're checking out two requested videos that were both requested by multiple people, so definitely hyped to check these out. The first is KBA, my COVID beatboxing loop station track compilation. Um, this was requested by Peach Blast Blast and Garo. And then following that up, we'll be checking out Azel's Angra. And this was requested by Muhammad, Muhammad, and Uzira. Um, so yeah, definitely listened to a lot of KBA. Big fan of him. Seen a couple things from Azel. He's a... Uh, Maybe a bit over the top for me in some cases, but I really enjoy his unique style still. So excited to see his energy and his unique uh, bases that he brings to the table. Um, but yeah, without taking up more time, just quickly remind you, always check the links in the description so you can go and support the original artists. Um, and then make sure you also subscribe to them. Do all the jazz, help the community grow as a whole. But without further ado, let's go ahead and check out KBA's quick little medley. You know, oh, you think I'd get used to switching this to my headset by now. I like the little sound wall. I thought there'd be transitions. KBA. Experimental is right. Really unique. I like those plucked, like street. Ooh, it's reversing.
Okay. Those were very abrupt ends to each of those. That would honestly be my real only complaint. That and this stupid banner that I can't get to go away. But just because he put COVID in his title. Anyways. Um, yeah, really, only issue I have with it is when I think of a medley, I think of something where it's short versions of songs, which is something he did here. It's not the full track. And there's a very, like, typically the tracks are different than the originals. Now, I don't, I don't know if those were, but I assume they likely were different than the original. But the main thing that I always, at least, because I've been to hundreds of concerts. Like, I go to, before COVID, I was at concerts all the time. All the time. Like, these bands behind me, let's do this. Emery, I've seen them live once, which is sad because for the longest time they were my favorite band, but they never came to where I live. Blink-182, too young. Wasn't, wasn't at the age where I was going to concerts when they were touring with the music of theirs that I enjoy. Boom. 21 Pilots, at least seen them 15 plus times. Uh, I actually designed some of their early flyers for some of their shows. We're both from the same area. So uh, now you have an idea of where I'm from. Um, but I've opened, played shows with them. Oh, crap. Well, my camera looks like it died. So... We're going to pause this recording and be back in a bit. All right. Sorry about that. It's now probably an hour later. Kept having camera issues, but I think we're good now. Um, I'll just quickly wrap up where I think I was thinking I was going through concerts. So I'll just do it real quick. Kids see Ghost. I guess technically I haven't seen, but I have seen Kanye West twice. Um... Next, we got Miss May I, another band I've seen probably 20 times. And then finally, you got, gosh, I'm always so smeared and it tricks me every time. The Devil Wears Prada, a band that I have honestly probably seen over 80 times, um, including festivals, shows, so on and so forth. Um, seen them like multiple times every album so i've gone to a lot of shows and i've heard a lot of medleys and those medleys typically what they'll do is they'll take a bunch of their older popular songs and rather than just doing one or two of them to make the fans happy they'll do 10 of them but a medley of each of them where they'll do a little bit of one and then do a transition a nice smooth transition into the next one and it kind of becomes this fun game as a listener to try and guess, oh, what is this transitioning transition la, 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 transitioning into? Um, and so the tracks were all good. I really like seeing uh KBA go into different styles than what I've normally heard of him heard him do. Um, definitely showing that he has a lot more he can do. So I hope to see some of that implemented as he continues to put out music. But um again. Only issue, just kind of abrupt ends to each track, and not that's not great to me. But this isn't a competition or anything. It's just him showing a couple of the videos he worked on, and I think it's a really cool and unique idea. Um, the only way, like I said, if I would have changed it, if I made this, which I never could, but if I tried and did, I think I would try to do one take where I slowly transition between each of the songs but obviously that's really hard to do on a loop station because a big part of why this is only four minutes for three four tracks was he'd obviously set up and got everything recorded before he did the performance so can't really do that when you're doing them all back to back so i don't know if that's something you could work on with like after effects and editing but i guess i'm being a little harsher than i should be with that in mind and by harsher, I mean talking about a point that maybe isn't really that much of a good criticism because of how difficult it would be to implement. Um, 
But yeah, let's keep things going and check out Azel Angra. <laughs> Yo, what's poppin? It's Azel here. I'm from Italy, and this is a massive shout out for my brothers Teapot, Pulsate, Justin, and B Box International. <laughs> Heard of Pulsate and Beatbox International. Haven't heard of the others. It's a cool whistle technique. Okay. I like that. That's cool. You ready? Real quick, I'm gonna rewind it a bit and I just want to say this real quick. Um I kind of mentioned it at the beginning. Azel styles never really clicked with me. Um something about it just it's never really done much for me. So I apologize that I'm not looking super hyped by this, because for most people, I, I assume some of this stuff he's doing is insanely hype. But like I just wanted to kind of say that again, because it for me, it's been a while. I guess for you guys, it didn't take that long because I paused the recording, but I just, I wanted to preface reacting to this with the fact that I know his style doesn't hit me very hard. Um, I know he's very talented and people love him, so I'm not saying it's not good, but just don't expect me to go crazy over his stuff because for the most part, it I don't know. It's just a bit too much for me, in my opinion. So yeah, um, kind of already said what I felt around it, but I'll try and give a little more context now that we're not talking in the middle of the song. Um, first of all, I want to say I really enjoy his energy and his performance. Uh, again, I will say to caveat that I do think at times it's a bit too much for me. Like, 
I guess it kind of distracts from what's going on because of how much is put into like the, he gets so like animated and how he looks and so aggressive. And I think it's cool. And I, I genuinely think I like it, but at the same time, there's points for me where it's kind of like a bit too much. That's, that's really the only w way I can explain how I feel about Azel is that everything he does is just maybe one or two steps too much for me to continue to enjoy it. Um, again, it's not that I don't like it or that I think it's bad. It's just that for me, I've never really got into his style. So maybe I shouldn't have reacted to this because I don't know like if you guys enjoy me being more critical and talking about a beatboxer that personally doesn't mesh with me. Um, let me know what you think in the comments in the future if you request something that maybe doesn't do very well when I try and listen to it. I just shouldn't upload it, but I told people and had requests for it, so I wanted to get it out here anyways, knowing that it probably would end up like this. Um... So let me know what you guys prefer in the comments. If you'd prefer me react, be honest, maybe not have that energetic of a reaction to beatboxers who I don't gel with really well. Or if you think it's better to just not react at all if I'm not going to be into it, I guess. Um, very interested in your opinion. So if you've made it in this far, I assume you watch my videos pretty regularly. So I'm going to trust the people that are answering this are probably people who whose opinions I care the most about, because you're probably viewers that have been around for a bit and subscribed. So, I, I, I mean, I, I know as a channel, if I wanted to grow, I wouldn't react to something like this. Not because, or if I did react to it, I would fake it and be like, what? That's insane. That's crazy. How is he doing that? Like, I could do all that stuff, and I think my channel would grow a lot. But this, I, I want to be genuine to who I am as much as possible on this channel. There's obviously some, I don't want to say acting, but there's definitely extra stuff put in at times. Like this isn't exactly how I would be sitting at my job, obviously. Um, but I want, I, I want to be true to who I am and true to how I feel. So if... If you guys don't like reactions where I'm not as into it, I can stop uploading those. That's totally fine. If you still think there's some value in hearing me talk about them, I'll continue to react to them and continue to upload them. I'm completely fine doing either. Um, it's just what you guys want to watch is what I want to make because that's what I'm doing this for, both to help me hear new music and find new artists, but also to share my experiences with you guys. Um, but yeah. That, that was a weird tangent, so I'll wrap things up here. As always, two amazing beatboxers. Very talented. Azel has a very unique style that I feel like nobody else does, and that's something that I give him a lot of props for. Um, I, I respect the dude a ton, and I think what he does, he is very, very, very good at. But what he does just doesn't do it for me. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully I didn't upset or offend anyone. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did and you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. But until next video, I hope you all have a great rest of your day and peace.